Hi. This is a 12 volt, 20 amp power supply. There are two common problems with this type of power supply. The first problem is related to the broken inductor pins. As a result of heavy weight or falling of the device or impact, it is often cut off with the wire related to the board and there is no voltage at the output. The second problem is related to the voltage fluctuation at the device output. This fluctuation can have many reasons such as failure of IC power supply capacitor, failure of the input voltage storage capacitor, diode bridge failure, failure of power supply diode and some other reasons. But the most important reason for voltage fluctuation in the output of the device is related to the feedback section. I want to intentionally fold the feedback section so that we can see the voltage fluctuation at the output. There are two ground or zero volt in this device. The main part of the hot section that includes MOSFET, IC, and its driver. Ground cold section, which includes the output of the device and the feedback circuit sampler section. For this, I soldered a computer power connector to the negative of the capacitor. We never use the cold ground of the circuit to measure the voltage in the hot part because the wrong value are displayed. This is three connection device. I connect the negative probe to the negative capacitor through this connector. But to connect the negative of the oscilloscope to the circuit, connect the alligator clip to the second probe negative. And I connect the other side of the alligator clip to the negative of the multimeter and then connect into the connector. This connector is connected to the negative of the capacitor. This is the probe of the oscilloscope. And this is the lifeguard part. When I hold the alligator clip of the probe in this position and connect it to the negative of the capacitor on the hot side, the possibility of hitting my hand is high and it is possible to shock me. For this reason, I always disconnect this node and use the negative for the oscilloscope. Well, let's first see what part this device has. This IC is UC3845AN. At the start of the work, the voltage has reached the IC from the DC rail pad through these two startup resistors and the IC turns on. After starting the circuit, the auxiliary coil prepares the voltage and the voltage required by the IC is provided by this diode and capacitor. Pin 6 of this IC is the pulse output. Pin 1 is the compensator. Pin 4 is for frequency generation, which is a Southwest waveform. Pin 2 and 5 are connected to the ground or 0 volt. These two resistors are current sensing IC connected to the source pin of the MOSFET. This diode, resistor, and capacitor are used to return the extra voltage generated in the transformer when the MOSFET is cut off to DC rail. This resistor, diode and capacitor are the column circuit for the transformer. This optocoupler is for isolating the circuit and this part is TL431 which is a shunt regulator. The reference pin receives the output voltage sample. Now I connect the device to the city electricity with the help of the series lamp. The LED turns on. First, measure the voltage of pin 7 or on the power diode. Uh, amount 17. Now, pin 7. Amount 17. Pin 8 is the reference voltage. 
uh, around 5 volt. Remember that in this circuit, pin number 2, which is the voltage feedback, is connected to ground. Pin 4 is the frequency generator. The same as uh, RT, CT. This is the voltage of this pin. A Sautus waveform will be seen with an oscilloscope. I put the device on the oscilloscope. This is a Sautus waveform. Pin 6 is the pulse output, which has two resistors in its path. There is also diode here to help turn off the MOSFET in reverse. These two resistors are current sensor that are connected to pin 3 of the IC. There are two PNP transistors in the circuit for overcurrent protection. I put the device in multimeter mode. I measure to base pin. Uh, around 4 volts. I choose the base pin of the second transistor around uh, 5 volts. Since this RPMP transistor, the presence of voltage in the base pin indicates that they are off. This is TL431, which is determined with the help of these two resistors and potentiometer, its reference voltage in pin 1. Its direction is toward the output, so the reference pin is placed on top. To measure the reference pin voltage, the negative of the multimeter should be connected to the negative output, but currently the negative of the multimeter is connected to the hot part, so we cannot measure correctly. No, I'm measuring this pin voltage, about 108 volts. This is completely incorrect. Now, with the help of an oscilloscope, we measure the pulse output of pin 6 of the IC. The pulse is a square. Because the consumer is not connected, the duty cycle amount is low. Well, I will connect the lamp to the output. I will measure the pin 6 again. As the consumer is connected, the duty cycle increases. No. I want to fold the feedback circuit to see what happens in the output of the circuit. Pay attention to the light of the lamp and the oscilloscope. First, I choose pin 6 with an oscilloscope. Then, we connect pin 1 and 2 of the optocoupler, which is in the cold part of the circuit. Pay attention to the voltage fluctuation. Why did it happen? These two PMP transistors are there to protect the circuit. For any reason, if the optocoupler is unable to provide the information to the IC, these two transistors start to disconnect and connect, which affects pin 3 of IC or current sensor. See again, I connect pin 1 and 2 the optocoupler together. Oscillation occurs in the output. Therefore, the main reason for the fluctuation of output voltage in this type of power supply is due to feedback circuit failure. I select the IC power supply voltage again with a multimeter. Voltage has changed to 14. It has three reasons. The most important reason is that I have used this series lamp. The second reason is that it is possible that the IC power supply capacitor is broken. Of course, the diode is also possible to be damaged. 
The third reason is the connection of the consumer to the output. In any case, this voltage should not drop, otherwise IC will be turned off. This capacitor is related to the soft start of the power supply. If the output voltage of the power supply is lower or higher than the main voltage of the device, we adjust the voltage to 12 volts by rotating or adjusting this potentiometer. This potentiometer is connected to pin 1 of the TL431. These two resistors and capacitor are related to the snubber circuit of the Schottky diode. Thank you for watching this video.